Ubisoft just confirmed that a new update is coming to Valhalla on November 26th, so tomorrow at the time of this recording, and it should be a big one. I will touch on some things they already shared, and I also want to take a look at the new armor set they added, because it's a little too strong, likely unintentional, like if it was intentional then it would completely ruin the other mythical sets in the game. I also want to touch on the weekly reset and other new items that were added and way way more, so a like on the video would really help me out. And let's go. But before we get into it, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. And they now really got the best deal that I've seen yet. It's of course a VPN that lets you easily, via any device, connect to a different server. And then watch content that maybe wasn't available in your country. On Netflix, there are many examples of this. Or on YouTube, I showed you the IGN Valhalla Viking show they did. That can only be viewed in the US. So then just switch with the Google Chrome extension, for example, to a US IP address. And then it will appear after a YouTube search. And Surfshark also helps you with online safety, protects your passwords and private messages. So no one can see what you're doing online. It's really my go-to VPN. And if you click the link in the video description, you now get 84% off and 4 extra months. Again, it's the best offer I've seen so far. So thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring the video, really helps the channel out. And now let's get back into it. I will of course do a big video on the update when it goes live, showcasing everything in action. But some highlights for now. The next gen consoles will namely get two modes, one focusing on 60 FPS and one that is stuck at 30 but with a higher resolution and graphic settings. So for one this means that the next gen version could look even better and that on Xbox Series S you will be able to play the game at 60 FPS now while right now you're stuck at 30. The fabric limit in our inventory will be increased and we will also be able to buy it once our settlement has reached level 6 so that will totally help get that resource. Duplicated gear will be removed from our inventory I know many people had like the Huntsman armor like show up multiple times. And cloud saves will be improved so you can really see what the cloud save actually is that is active then on multiple platforms instead of having just the icon. And I love this one, an issue where allies would not help Eivor to open a door during raids. Yes please, that was a very annoying issue. And overall I'm just really curious if the game will just play better, feel more finished than what we have right now and just not have many of the weird issues that now take you out of the experience. Again, a full video where I show you all the changes in action will be up once the patch goes live. And of course, every Tuesday, Reda has a new weekly selection. I of course already did the stream, but now I want to give you the quick overview for things you can get and show them in action as well. So let's check on Reda right now and then we talk about that new armor set. He has the Draugr demon statue for sale. Gotta say, it looks awesome, really really cool, but overall 50 opal. I think it's just nice to save it up for like weapons or mounts or two pieces of that new armor set because that is already really great. Again, more on that in a second. The Hulu Folk right arm tattoo is also not worth your opal. In my opinion, it looks like this. And then the final piece is a chest from that same Hulu Folk armor set. It looks fine, but really without a visual customization system, it's just not worth it to get. That's of course overall the thing with the armor pieces. It will take a while before you get all the five pieces to get both set bonuses. Although for the Einar Jar armor set that they just added, with two pieces you already have an amazing set bonus active. Einar Jar refers to fallen warriors who died in battle and are then brought to Valhalla. So that's why this pack has a lot of blood all over it. It might turn some people off, but it totally gives the set its own style. I really like the helmet the most, but if you want to rock the cloak, you got a red cloak with, again, some blood over it. I said it during the stream as well. It's not like a true standout armor like the Valkyrie set that I think is really awesome. Especially with the cloak and then the mask that you got in front of your face. So... I think the Einajar set will be like something that looks cool now because it's new, but then later we will kind of forget it. 
The mount is also not that special. It's a horse with a lot of blood on it. There are cooler Helix Store mounts that you should get or save Opal for. There is a new bird as well with some blood and that's overall the thing. When we get a new armor set, we should expect a ton of other items in the same team as well. Like for example, the naval pack has a pretty cool figurehead. It has like a soldier fighting a kraken, I think. And the tail is pretty cool too, with a soldier like putting his sword actually in the tail. Looks pretty awesome. Overall, I think the naval pack is just fine. Pretty nice, not really that special. The Einajar tattoos are awesome though, because they are red and especially the one on your face will be very noticeable in cutscenes and when randomly talking to NPCs or not rocking headgear of course. Like unshowing some gear from this armor set and then really focusing on the tattoos with female Eivor here for example. Like, it makes the armor set way cooler. So, maybe if you still got those 300 free Helix credits, you might want to get these tattoos, I think it's worth it. But you'll of course be mostly getting this armor set for combat. And as I said during the intro, I think this is unintentional, but right now at the time of this recording, you can put a legendary rune in every armor piece of this set. And normally you can only put it on the chest. Like, I don't even have enough of these legendary armor runes to fill all the pieces right now. But it's pretty wild if this was intended, because these bonuses are pretty substantial. Maybe the new update or like a future patch will change this, because it would be weird if this armor set has that benefit over all the others. But time will tell. And even if they change it, it's still a very good armor set thanks to the set bonus. And with two pieces, you already get an amazing perk. So again, keep an eye out for two pieces at Reda and... I think it's worth it already. The set bonus namely increases your attack by 10 after a kill for 50 seconds. So then you will see the icon appear that is bugged right now. It's just a blank circle. Maybe also the upcoming update will fix this. But yeah, then you got 50 seconds to score another kill. And then you get 20 attack instead of 10. Then after the third kill you get 30 extra attack. Which of course is insane. And then after every kill you do, you reset that 50 second timer. So if you just stay on the offense, you will always have this substantial attack buff active. And something that will keep you in the fight is the second bonus from the set. And this of course active when you run around in the full Einherjar Jar armor. And with this you get a 5% health back after 3 kills, but turns out... That is actually every kill once you get to the 3 kills threshold. Like 5% is not a lot, but when in a camp with multiple enemies or maybe an assault or raid, you will like trigger this very often. And the pack also comes with an X that increases speed after each kill for 50 seconds. So that totally goes hand in hand with the armor set bonus. And just speed is great when using dual axes that can otherwise be quite slow. But the true combination of this pack is the two-handed axe with a shield. Then you of course need the heavy dual wielding skill. But even with the speed, having a shield and a two-handed axe is not a great combination. But the shield is really powerful. After blocking, it namely buffs your heavy damage by 20, which is a ton. It is for 5 seconds, so block and then do a heavy attack combo. I, for example, really love the heavy attack of the hammer, so this shield is great in combination with a powerful hammer. Overall, really powerful armor set already if you got 2 pieces, so keep an eye on Reda for that. Subscribe, of course, for way more Valhalla content if you haven't already. Tomorrow, a big patch video telling you everything you need to know. A like on this video would really help me out. And totally check out my runes video on the best runes and how you can easily farm them and way more. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.